What's up y'all, it's Timmy. And today, I'm gonna take you mountain biking in Sedona, Arizona, down the good old Mescal Trail. Let's go do it. Welcome to Truck House Lab, baby. heading up to the Mescal Trail, which is just outside of Sedona, maybe like five miles outside. This trail was recommended to us by the back uh, bike packer guy. We met at Whole Foods the other day. Boynton Canyon Road. And we're almost there. Oh, looks like a trailhead. Okay, we are here at uh, Boynton Canyon Trail parking lot, maybe. It's right where the Mescal Trail is. It's like four and a half miles outside of Sedona. We're gonna get the bikes off and go hit a really sweet trail. Take you guys with us. Get dressed and get rolling. Right. L2. Fun, you guys. Thank you. Dead man's, is that it? Yeah. Woo! Get this in the helmet. We're going towards Dead Man's Pass. Let you go down the trail. So this is like our first, pretty much our first mountain bike, real mountain bike ride we've done. Yesterday was a shakedown, breakdown kind of day. But I guess Dead Man's is like a little over a mile long. Now we're gonna connect to the Long Canyon Trail. That's about a mile long. And the Mescal Trail is two and a half miles, which is supposed to be the more challenging part, but you get on some slick rock. Hey. Oop. And for you guys watching, this is a Sunday, so it's gonna be more crowded than a weekday for sure. Sedona was freaking crazy yesterday, Saturday night. Let me roll in. Hell too. Currently, I don't know, half a mile up Dead Man's Trail or so. It's not ridiculously steep, but there's definitely some rock ledges to ride up, stuff like that. It's all doable, just low gear and keep a little bit of momentum. Yeah, so far the ride is pretty chill. I know is supposed to be more difficult to get onto a uh, slick rock and whatnot. Canyon to the right. Yeah, Dead Man's Pass is pretty chill back there. Those and all the ledges you could walk around them pretty easy if you don't want to ride up them. Wasn't too much uphill on it, not too crazy. About a mile long. Now we're on Long Canyon. We just took a ride onto it. It's well signed, so you can see it coming. And I think we go a little mile, about a mile and a half down this one. Bottom of Long Canyon Trail, and then we're gonna take a right onto Mescal. There's like this parking lot right here. Right here, right? Yeah. Right. Is that the one? Hey. Hey. Hi. Lou, must be a good trail, that's a good sign. All right, so there's the parking lot right here for the Mescal, so I guess you can just come do the Mescal. So we started in Buoyant Pass Road Trailhead, came through Dead Man's Pass about a mile and a half or so, came down uh, Long Canyon Trail, took a right onto it for about half a mile, looks like, maybe a mile. Then we're about to cut through a mescal. A 
unmasked trail here is supposed to be about i think two and a half miles up and down but it gets you up in the slick rock so it's supposed to get you up to some awesome views there's a little bit of climbing on it can't remember how much i want to say it's 300 feet but this is the trail the bike packing guy told us about that was it in the uh whatchamacallit parking lot whole foods should be pretty fun some other bikers are coming this way so that's a good sign kind of like a restaurant you see a bunch of people eating there it's probably good And yeah, right off the bat, Mesco's got super nice view out to the left over there. We're still down in the woods. I think we're gonna, I think this wraps around the base of uh, Mesco Mountain. We're kind of going back in the direction of uh, where we parked originally at the Boynton Trailhead. This is definitely a more bike friendly trail than Dead Man's. Mesco Trail is really cool so far. It's uh, been pretty smooth and kind of flat and twisty. Really, really nice single track. This is coming from someone who hasn't biked in forever. Tell you one thing, you don't want to fall. Look at all these cactuses. Beautiful though, it's kind of like open rolling country with small trees. I like it. Oh, thank you guys. We're pretty much in the base of Mescal Mountain right here. The single track just rolls along it. Starts getting a little more bedrocky, a little more challenging. Woo! <laughs> A little, a little tired, a little more techy, but still manageable. Thanks, man. Yeah. Trying to avoid the cactus bomb. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty messed up. I feel like my. I don't know how to approach it all. I don't know. Let me drop my seat. I'm curious how these tires grip. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> It's steep. <laughs> right, nope. Thank you. It was pretty interesting back there. <laughs> Just run the slick rock section. Really challenging spots. But it's still easy to walk around stuff if you need to. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, hello. Woo, yeah.
Thank you. This trail is so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Working into it. I mean, this is the difficult. This is like more than advanced. So. That's a big drop. <laughs> We're going to be in a big plateau after a little bit. Just a big shelf right in the edge. Woo! <laughs> I think the trickiest part is just being mindful of pedals. Yeah. Canyon of Booze. Just cruising around the base of Mescal Mountain. I think we're about halfway through the trail right now where those obstacles were back there. Absolutely gorgeous, super cool trail. So we're in the slick rock section now. As far as mountain bike levels, like I used to ride hard and race and do trials, but that was 25 years ago. So I consider myself a beginner mountain biker pretty much. And uh, this trail is pretty doable. And Erin's also a beginner mountain biker. She's doing well too, able to stay on her bike for most of it. So if that gives you any idea. Woo! Been a pretty smooth trail for the most part, but every now and then you get into this chunky stuff. But we're on hardtails, so it's not too crazy bad. Oh, I guess we're going off. All right. We just finished the Mescal Trail. It dumped us right back onto Dead Man's... Uh, pass trail which is what we rode up earlier so we just intersected it and we're just heading back to the parking lot pretty quick too i'd say if we would uh, we stopped to take a break but i'd say you could do that trail pretty easily in an hour going super casual and walking around stuff i'm sure you could do it in like 20 minutes if you really wanted to rally it sweet here's the parking lot Oh yeah. What do you think about that trail? Like Alright, we back at the parking lot. That was the show. Uh hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to uh maybe smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and stuff, and we'll catch you in the next adventure. B show. Mm -hmm.